Hello, and welcome to this month's Get Creative with Suffolk Public Library. This month we are making a air dry clay fortune cookies. We're going to be making a couple. There's enough in your supplies to make a few for you or experiment with different sizes. Um, I've prepped my station with just some wax paper and I've gone ahead and taped it down just so that it doesn't move around on me too much. So I've just used painter's tape for that. Uh, you can use whatever you have laying around. Um, and then I've also prepped by having some paper towels off to the side and a small cup of water. And that cup is going to be included in your supplies as well. So we're just going to take a small pinch of clay here um, and we're going to start working with it. And you want to just make sure that it's feeling nice and soft and malleable. And uh, we're going to start by just rolling it into a ball and uh, getting it nice and flat into a disc. Once we have that, then we're going to uh, smooth it all the way out. And again, we want it to be as smooth as possible. Uh, we might not be able to fully eliminate all of our cracks, but we really want to make it as smooth as possible. I'm using like a little rolling pin. If you have a rolling pin, that's fantastic. Anything that you have that will um, roll it like a small dowel or something like that would be great. Otherwise you can just press it out with your fingers. That's absolutely fine. In fact, sometimes when you roll it out, you then have to work on getting it back off of the surface like I just had to. Um, so sometimes it's just easier to deal it with your fingers. So I'm just pressing it flat here as you can see, and you want it to be just a circle as thin as you can make it. Um, with your small bit of clay. So that's why we made it into a ball first and then pressing it into a circle. So once you have it to your desired thickness, um, I would recommend having it not too thin because it won't be able to support its weight and the structure um, as it's drying, but having it, um, you know, a little bit of uh, heft to it is still fine. So if you want to close up any of those cracks, now, then you can smooth them over just with your finger or grab a little bit of dampness on your, you grab a touch of water and smooth those over. So we're making sort of a cone if we're like a cannoli shape. And then we are just taking those edges, those ends of each of the open cone, or not the cone, the ends of the open cannoli. And we're just trying to bend them around that center point because we want the center to stay whole. And once we have it roughly into our fortune cookie shape, we are going to let it dry on the edge of our cup. And once you have your shape, it's, you can go ahead and clean up any of those spots, any of your cracks. Just take a dollop of, a dollop of water, smooth that over. And again, these are air dry clay. All you have to do is form your structure. And as long as it's not going to collapse in the next 24 hours, you're just gonna leave it to dry. Um, and so you can go on and keep making some more. So we've also included for this one, a few small pieces of paper. So you'll actually be able to write your own fortunes and include your own fortunes. Um, I'm going to be experimenting with making one that's a little bit large, and I think you're going to see uh, that it's a little tricky. You can absolutely experiment with different sizes. I find that the really, really small ones, are you taking only like a pea-sized amount of the clay and then folding it in actually works quite well. Obviously, it's too small to have a fortune inside, but they are really quite cute. Um, so I'm working, trying to get this one to work. Um, it's going to be, it, it's going to sort of work. <laughs> it's not going to be great. Um, but you feel free to experiment. You have plenty of clay in your kits to make several different ones. So you can really uh, have some fun with it. Have some, do some experimenting with it. So those are going to be ready and available for you. So again, we're just making our flat circle, a flat disc of the clay, 
You want it to be as circular as possible. If there's a little bit of oblong to it, that's okay, but you really want it to be as much of a circle as possible. And again, if it gets too oblong, just fold in that edge and form it back into a circle. And then we are making our sort of hollow tube by folding in two of those edges and then we'll be folding over our entire tube to make our fortune cookie shape. So for this one, because it's a little bit larger and it fails to have as much structural integrity, it's kind of got more weight to it and it's kind of collapsing under its own weight. What I'm doing is I'm actually um, pressing together the two edges. Um, so it's going to hold itself together just a tiny bit better. So you're welcome to do that for yours um, of any size. And then I'm bending it on the edge of the cup rather than trying to do it on, uh, start it on my hand just to get that shape. So it, it's there, the shape is there. It's not great as you can see, but that's what kind of testing these and experimenting is really all about, right? And then when we get to actually filling your fortune cookies with your fortunes, I find that the best way to do that once you have written your fortune is you'll actually probably want to roll up the fortune and they fit better into um, your cookie because you won't want to break it right in the, like your regular fortune cookies. So you'll just roll it up and you'll roll it with a little bit of an angle um, so that you won't get an exact like flat scroll you'll get one with a little bit of a tail coming out. And that way, you'll actually be able to pull out the, um, the, the end of your fortune to be able to, uh, to read it and refill it as you need to. So I'm kind of demonstrating some of that on this one that I made yesterday. <laughs> I made this one previously, so kind of doing that demonstration. And I'm just cleaning off my hands so I'm not getting wet clay everywhere. So if you needed a visual on how to roll that, you're just going to, instead of completely flat, you're doing your scroll at, at a little bit of an angle. You're not going to get it entirely flat. You'll have it spiral up just a little bit, and then you can just tuck it in to one side of your fortune cookie. So these are darling little gifts, presents that you can make for yourself. They're a very, very sweet. They're easy to make. You can make a bunch of them. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you requested a kit of supplies, they are available for you at the Suffolk Library branches, and I hope you join us for the next one. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.